If you drive for DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, any delivery app, or you just rely on navigation a lot in your day-to-day -day life, you need to know this Google Maps trick. I think we've all been there, driving in an area we're not familiar with in a spot that has shoddy cell service. We make a wrong turn and our GPS tries to reroute us, but it can't because we don't have internet access. This video is gonna teach you how to fix that. There's a reason that GPS software on our phones don't work offline by default. Those downloads will be huge. This video is gonna teach you how to save only the areas you drive in, therefore reducing space on your phone. Let's get into it. For this video, I'm gonna be using my iPhone. If you have an Android, the steps are exactly the same. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start out by pressing the little icon up here on the search bar. Mine says Z for Zach. So if we press that, you now see an option that says offline maps. Super simple, right? You click that. Now I've already got one saved in here. So if we open this up, you can actually see the area that I have saved. Let's go ahead and back out of this. And we're going to select, select your own map. If we click this, we can now, we can zoom out for a much, much, much bigger area. And you can save the area that you want. So say I wanted to save We'll call it Alger, Samish, Bo, Edison. We can hit download and we can hit download now. And this will do its thing. And these, uh, this map will be saved for offline use. Now that we have our offline map saved, let's take a look at what navigation looks like. So in here, we, I'm just gonna choose a random option here. Uh, yeah, JJ's in and out food mart. That sounds great. So it's going to think a little bit longer than it would have had you been online, but it will come around eventually. So just wait for this to load up here really quick. And uh, we can press directions. Now, if you notice below the five minutes, 1.5 miles, it says offline, no traffic data. But it does give you accurate turn-by-turn -turn instructions. So we can just go ahead and press start. And if you notice, there's no streets loading in here. That's because we're offline. So if you were to make a wrong turn or something in an area that you didn't have cell service, it would reroute you now, but you would have to follow the, uh, the thing up top that says like head north, you know, turn right on whatever street, turn left. So a uh, very, very handy trick. Every driver needs to know this. And really probably everybody should know this. Uh, it, it's a lifesaver if you ever get yourself into a jam. There's an area here called Sudden Valley. And while it's incredibly beautiful, the cell service is also garbage. As a driver, I'm out there pretty frequently. The problem is the roads are narrow and windy, so it's really easy to make a wrong turn. Having Google Maps saved offline has helped me get to the right place and out of that community multiple times when I otherwise would have had to ask somebody for directions. All right, guys, very short video today. Unfortunately, I don't think this video will do particularly well for me as it's very different from what I usually do. So if you got something out of this, please do press the like button and let me know in the comments if you're gonna try this. If you haven't done so yet, please do consider subscribing to my channel. My name is Zach. Take care.